Hello all. So in the previous lecture we have seen uh, some basics of matplotlib. So we have seen how to plot using plot method. Then we have seen how to name title, how to give title, x label, y label. And also we have seen how to set, uh, give different formats. We have seen formatting strings, how to use the line style, marker, color, everything we have seen in the previous lecture. Uh, then how to plot multiple figures, multiple lines inside a single plot. And also we have included how to uh, how to draw this grid and also how to save this figure. Now in this lecture we will see uh, more about this matplotlib. So basically we will see how to create uh, multiple plots. So if you want to create multiple plots inside a single figure itself, it is also possible. So this is what we are going to see in this lecture. So actually when we plot something, it will be inside a figure object. It is actually inside a figure object. When we plot something, it is inside a figure object. So if we want to create multiple plots, what we have to do is, we have to initially create a figure. So for that we have a figure method. So we will be creating a figure, figure equal to plot dot, we have a figure method. Now this is here we are creating a simple figure. Now we have created a figure, the default size is 432 by 280. So since we are using this Jupyter, nothing will be displayed. If we are using IPython and all, an empty window will appear. Here we are, there won't be any window will be there. Now if we want to plot different subplots inside this figure. So we have created a figure and we want to create subplots inside this figure. So it is possible. So for creating that, we have to use, uh, I am giving some name AX1. This is a subplot, first subplot. So I am going to create inside this fig. So the method to be used is add underscore subplot. And if I want to create four subplots, what I have to do is, uh, I can or, uh, arrange in any order. I am here arranging in two by two. That means there are four subplots and in each row there will be two and first row there will be two subplots and underneath there will be uh, two subplots. Now I have to, this is the first plot, so I have to number it as one. Okay. Now if I want to create another subplot, if I want to create another subplot AX2 and I am naming it as, as a second subplot. So that is also possible. Then again I am going to create another third subplot. So I can create up to four subplots. I am creating just three subplots and this is the third subplot. And if you want you can name it as four subplot also. Now if you see uh, nothing will be shown. If you want to show this output then what you have to do is you have to copy all these things in a single cell. I have already shown that. So if you want to show this everything should be in a single cell. Then only you can get an our display. Otherwise each time when you run the cell, the previous cell will be, will be reset. So I am adding, this is the third subplot. I uh, will mention this as fourth. Okay. Now if I uh, run this probe, uh, this thing, you will get three subplots, one, two, three. So since I have mentioned that this four, it is uh, shown in the, now if I mention this as three, it will be shown in the third. So, so this will be empty. So I am creating three subplots inside a single figure. So what the, the method I have used is add subplot. Okay. So using add subplot, I can add any subplots. So I am creating four. So maximum number is 4. Here I am creating a space here. Now if I want to plot some data, you can use the previous data itself. We have data, data consists of numbers from 0 to 9 and there is some data 1 which is some random numbers. If I do this thing, what happens is all those data, all this will be plotted in the last subplot. subplot. So everything will be plotted in the last subplot. 
Okay, so that is a default thing. So if I want to plot it in different subplots, it is also possible. For that, if I want to plot in AX1, that is a first plus subplot, AX1 equal to, I want to plot some histogram. There is a method for histogram. You can prefer the documentation if you want to plot some histogram at all. So I am going to plot some histogram, uh, random. I am mentioning as 10 random numbers. Then I have to mention the bin size. Bin is equal to default values 20, 10. That is a bit. So here I am mentioning as 20. Now if I want to mention the color, it is also possible. So I am mentioning the color as blue. So if I mention and then if I run this program, you can see that. Uh, let me check. And also you have to uh, mention uh, okay. Okay. Hist ax1 dot hist. Okay. Now we will get thing. So these are the default uh, random values that is generated, and this is the histogram that is being plotted. Hey x1 dot hist. Now if I want to plot something in the second plot, ax2 dot, I am going to scatter some points. So I have already some data in data one comma data 2 there are some random points so I am just going to scatter all those points it is also possible so I have just scattered some points and this is the plot dot plot dot data comma data 1 so in this way we can plot multiple subplots so for, for that the method uses add underscore subplot so I have to mention the figures also okay if I want to change it it is also possible I am plotting like this then it will be like this. So this is the first histogram, this is the second figure, then I have scattered some points, then this is the third subplot. So I can plot multiple subplots inside a thing. So if you want to increase the size, if you want to create nine subplots, then if you want three comma three, then you will get nine subplots consisting of three rows and three columns. Like that you can plot. Okay. Now I will show next topic is about ticks, uh, labels and legends. So labels and legends we have already seen. If you want to label this, uh, this subplot, how to label this subplot and how to give titles to the subplots, everything will be seen now. So we will see some examples. Okay. Now I am going to create a new figure figure equal to plot dot figure now inside this what I am going to create is a subplot ax equal to figure dot add underscore subplot I am creating only a single subplot I am not going to create multiple plots I am creating only a single plot so total only one subplot is there inside that figure and this is the first subplot I have created one okay now I am going to plot some data I am going to plot x dot plot I have already some data data comma data one I am going to plot and I am going to label it we have already seen how to label that thing so I am going to label it as uh, some test one we have already labeled this thing okay Now I will use uh, the same thing to plot one more thing uh, in the same plot subplot itself. I am going to plot data comma data two, and I will label it as test two. Okay. Now let's run this program and see. So you will get a figure like this. So I have created a figure. Inside that create figure, only one subplot is there. So only one subplot will be there and I have plotted two data, test1 and te test2. So those things are there. Now if I want to put this legend, so if you want to uh, label that legend also, it should be there, legend. We have already seen this legend and all. Now if you run this thing, you will get the legend also, test1 and test2. That legend will be there, okay. So test1 and test2 I have plotted and I have shown the legend also. Now next thing is 
x ticks so if you see uh, ticks if you see some uh, x values they are mentioning as 0 2 4 6 8 and here y values are minus 0.2 minus 0 0.15 1 1.5 minus 1 like this so if you want to change this it is known as ticks so if you want to change this it is also possible so for that what i have to use is ax dot set underscore x ticks method is there x ticks method is there and inside that i have to mention which all points i want to show which all ticks i want to show so here it is 2468 i am changing it to 1 4 any numbers i am changing it to 1459 now if you run this program you can see that the ticks have been changed so it is now 0 1 x ticks have been changed x values have been changed now x1459 so if you want to display something different you have to use this x ticks so it is possible to find this x ticks so you want to change this x ticks then it is possible now if you want to name or label this x ticks it is also possible for that what you have to use is ax dot set underscore uh, if you want to label that x tick value then x tick sorry x tick label labels and inside that you can label anything so i am just mentioning this as uh, zero first one value is zero so then second value is uh, one so i will mention it as one then third value it is 4 so I will mention it as 4 then 5 it is the next value 5 then next is 9 so you can give any name so I am just uh, giving some names to the 6 ticks values so it is also possible now if I run this program you can see this so all those x ticks values have been named also 0 1 4 5 9 now if i want to change the angle of this thing if i want to change the angle everything that is also possible so if you want to change the angle what you have to mention is rotation how much angle you want to so if you want to have a slanting like name it is possible you can specify the degree of that rotation 30 degree or 90 degree 60 degree then if you want to change the font size also font size equal to you can mention it as large now if you run this program you can see that now it is in a slanting position 0 this is 30 degrees slanting and uh, this has changed the value the size of this font has changed to large so it is much more bigger now if you want to make it smaller you can make it smaller or medium or everything so you can make it as medium and all so it is also possible so this is x ticks and to give labels for that ticks so this is how to, to give x ticks and how to give the labels for that thing. now if you want to give a title for this plot so for titling this you have to use you have already seen how to give title for a whole plot so this is actually a subplot so for that we have to use set underscore title so set underscore title you can give any name i am mentioning it as sample plot okay now if you run this thing you can see this this is sample all this thing will be appearing here uh, so this way you can give title for that and if you want to give uh, labels also so for that there we have used x label but here you cannot use x label you have to use set underscore since this is a subplot you have to use set underscore x label and you can give some value of uh, some whatever value you want you can give uh, for example uh, data data of students something anything you can name so that value that x label will appear similarly you can label using y label if you want to label y also it is possible set underscore y label and that is also possible now we have already seen how to save also if you want to save this 
you have to use save fig. Save fig and you have to give some name for that thing. You can give any name figure dot if you want png or jpeg any, any format you, if you want you can save it. So you can save this thing also then it will be saved also. Now everything is there. So this is about ticks and legends. So if you see this file it is saved here figure.jpg is there it is all yeah, that file is saved here. So that's all about matplotlib. So we have seen uh, today we have seen how to create subplots. So we can create uh, using this add subplot method for that we have to create a figure first inside that figure we will be creating different subplots. Then how to then we have seen how to create this ticks. So if you want to change uh, default values to different ticks you can it is possible to add this ticks and also we can label those ticks using this method x tick labels then in order to set title for that subplots we have to use set underscore title then uh, in order to name it we have to use set underscore x label. So that is all about matplotlib. Thank you.